Hi guys, welcome to the blog. Is this you? Are you a super nervous guy? Do you want to know why you're biting your nails? Let's explore. I did the research, I gave you a quick review, and let's jump in. Hi, right, so our first piece of evidence comes from PubMed. That's where I usually get a lot of my medical research and up-to-date findings about things in the medical world. So, what is the formal word for nail biting? It's called oncophagia. Basically, onco, O-N-Y-C-H, is meaning nail, and phagia means to eat. So, nail biting. So, why is this a conundrum for physicians? We don't know why you do it. We think it's because of anxiety or stress or some psychological issue, but there's also research that says that it isn't. And the one thing I want to bring to you is that this is actually pretty damn common. About 20-30% of the population pretty much from all age groups suffer from this condition. So what we're going to do is try to examine this, what the consequences are, why are we doing it, and uh, a few articles that are uh, going to shed some light on it. What this uh, piece of evidence shows uh, coming out of a psychiatry medical journal is that neurocognitive findings that are associated with oncophagia and basically the behavior associated with it as well. So what they try to do is understand the mechanism of why this is happening uh, and sometimes uh, maybe some underlying conditions. So what they looked at is about 87 participants aged around 18 to 29 years, basically the young age folks, uh, and uh, they try to evaluate them with uh, cognitive exam scores. and. The interesting finding is they said the nail biting group showed no significant difference in impulsivity or cognitive flexibility. So what this implies is that a psychiatric study has shown that these potential behaviors may not be related to anxiety or OCD or some kind of underlying psychological issue, but may be something totally differently related. So that's pretty interesting because it puts a total different spin on what we thought people do nail biting for. Now there was another article, I don't have the resource, but I don't know about the validity of it. That's why I'm not bringing it up. But they also show that maybe because it's not related to an underlying psychiatric issue, it could be just normal grooming and the constant habitual need to be perfect or having perfectionism in our grooming that we do. And you can see this with a lot of monkeys and apes. They constantly are grooming uh, more as a hygiene technique rather than an underlying stress relieving condition. So a different perspective to kind of understand how that is. Uh, why we do nail biting rather than just say, oh, it's because of stress or anxiety. Alright, so this is a pretty interesting study. It shows the effectiveness of nail biting prevention uh, and a program targeted towards primary school students. And they studied about 299 students and a nurse basically answered them follow-up questions on why they were biting their nails. And essentially when you do follow-up questions, you trigger the mind to really put the action in perspective. Like, why did you do it? Uh, and these are the kind of questions that she asked. She said, uh, the numbers of those who selected yes for, quote, I cut my nails this weekend, or quote, I didn't bite my nails today, or quote, I pulled out my nails, I pulled out and ate my nails, I pulled out my nail and skin, uh, my nails bled today, my nails hurt today. Basically the level of severity of the post questioning after they bite their nails really kind of triggers you cognitively and in this case it actually helped manipulate the behavior of the students because you're bringing attention to the level of destruction you're causing to your nails especially when you're answering yes to a question such as my cuticles bled today when you're realizing that you're causing self-inflicted pain and it's causing bleeding your brain's going to interpret that and hopefully that's going to be a mechanism to slow you down or at least 
stop the action. So pretty interesting story. If you can take your uh, physical activity and link it to a cognitive feedback loop, essentially you're doing behavior modification and this is actually improving your preventative techniques. Alright, so how do we treat this if 20 to 30 percent of people actually suffer from this and they're from all age groups? Obviously it's affecting a lot of people. So there are some studies where you can do behavior modification or cognitive studies. These are probably the most effective, but there was one I just stumbled upon which was kind of interesting, which is N-acetylcysteine. This is a medication we actually use for people in liver failure from, uh, say, alcohol poisoning. Uh, but we can use this same compound for patients that have uh, skin picking disorders uh, or they're pulling their hair disorders or nail biting disorders. And they actually found out that uh, this was a little bit effective so maybe this could be a solution or an alternative to some other therapies. Um, another therapy is uh, that I came across is basically anything that blocks your ability to bite your nails. So if there's a uh, a guard over your nail or a glove or if you paint an acrylic uh, over your nail that causes you to have a sour sensation. Um, some people even put lemon juice on the tips of the nails so if it causes bleeding it stings them. It Again these are cognitive feedback uh, kind of loops that you're establishing so like if I were to cut my nail and it bled because of the and stung me really bad because of the lemon juice I probably won't do it again and again and again. Uh, so Again, another treatment option, which is N-acetylcysteine. So just as N-acetylcysteine could be used as an effective way to uh, help you with nail biting, um, acupuncture actually also seems to be effective as well. This study basically looks at auricular uh, acupuncture, basically acupressure around the ears. Uh, and uh, they had 41 children successfully completing this and they saw, they saw significant differences in the habits or the behavior uh, improving. But what they were really kind of looking at is if I do acupuncture or at least put a little child in these sessions, it actually helped release their or reduce their anxiety scores and then indirectly their nail status, nail growth improved. So this kind of suggests or at least kind of goes against the initial article from the psychiatry uh, manual saying that there is a possible anxiety link. And I think in my opinion there is an anxiety, there's some underlying stress that's why we do it rather than say we just want to be habitually clean and we're so OCD and keeping our nail beds so hygienically clean. Alright guys, so at the end of the day I try to present a couple of articles to you uh, just so you're not thinking I'm just winging this off um, and a lot, like I mentioned, I get it from PubMed uh, which is a pretty reliable resource. Um, hey, I'm guilty as well. I bite my nails. They're not the best in condition, but I always wanted to know, did I usually, do I bite my nails because I have some underlying OCD component in my body or am I chronically anxious? Uh, I, I don't know, but I just figured, hey, let's do some self-evaluation and see how this could help me. So indirectly, I think I am very OCD. When I meet most med students or anybody in the medical field, they have a particular knack to have perfection. They want things their way and they have trouble with uh, changing their ways because they're so fixated. Uh, in their way. And I think that is probably an OCD type of perspective. Uh, and it, it, I think it's probably a survival thing. If we weren't so compulsive 
to do the best or have the, our, our particular ways, we probably wouldn't be practicing effective healthcare. But it also can impact us too. If we're too OCD, uh, we become very inefficient. We, we can't move the interview along well enough. We can't progress through the patient uh, doctor in a uh, relationship very quickly. We can't find facts very quickly. And we just can't interpret things uh, quickly. So I think maybe there might be some OCD reason why I uh, bite the nails. But also, I also came across uh, that uh, some people are just in act, like, inadvertently lazy, and this is a, a thing to do to occupy time. Um, I don't really think I'm running out. I, mean, I don't think I have so much time in the day that I'm so lazy that I, I just want to bite my nails out of boredom. Uh, I think there's probably some uh, people out there. I wish I was so bored and uh, didn't have to do work or balance two kids and a wife and etc. and my job, but that was something I came across. And then uh, I don't feel I have such a knack to be so perfect that my hygiene just wants to be flawless that I'm picking and eating my nails so much. Um, but I do, I do uh, want to point out that ever since I've been starting to use a nail clipper routinely and I consciously am seeing my nails more uh, trimmed, I have less desire to uh, bite my nails. So maybe that might be a take home point for you. If you're actively uh, biting your nails routinely, maybe it is a self kind of maintenance thing that you're going through. And repeatedly trimming your nails might help you from constantly biting the nails. So sorry if my phone's ringing, I just don't want to stop the video just for the phone call, but uh, if you guys like the content, you like the, the review of medical literature, me breaking it down, subscribe away, ask me a question, put in the comment feed what new topics you want to learn about, and if you like it, smash the button, support the channel, let this thing grow into something really great. Let's make a beautiful community out of it. I'm here to educate you, explain things. I'm a board certified internal medicine doc. Uh, and if I don't have the questions or answers, I'll look it up. I'll show you that I'm looking it up and uh, I'll educate myself. And uh, it works as t uh, a two-phase thing. I get better as a doctor. I can communicate and educate new findings to my patients, and then I can help my, com my community of 1.9 billion YouTube viewers. Uh, thanks again. If you appreciate the content, subscribe away and shoot me up a comment. Thanks, guys. Bye.